Hey Andy, you ready for the... <laughs> yeah, um, hang on a second. Yeah, it's lunchtime and I've got some healthy food here. I was tempted by that evil fudge and pretzel, chocolate, and then the caramel corn stuff, but I can focus on this. Actually, I have some pineapple, I have some grapes, I have some carrots, and I have some salami. Lots of stuff happening. It's week two, FRC build season. Uh, let's get into it. We've got, uh, last weekend was LRI, or Lead Robot Inspector Training, at first uh, headquarters over the weekend. A cool thing that happened was um, John Stratus and the Greenhorns they went through an inspection process of the Greenhorns robot. That's a really good video to watch um, to see what you go through as an inspector and see what to expect. It's, it's not intimidating, it's just a, a process you have to go through to be inspected. Um, please note that Update 2 came out and this was released after that was filmed. So notice that there were a couple things. One main thing on Update 2 that changed and that was the maximum bumper height went up from 7 to 7.5. 7.5 seven what? seven and a half um, inches off the floor. Robonauts FRC 118 continue to inspire us all. They've built a, what they call an EveryBot, which is, it turns out to be a, a cube score in the switch. So they pick cubes up off the floor, or maybe they're just putting them into the exchange and then getting them from the exchange onto their bucket and then they're putting them into the switch but it's the, what they claim to be the a, a good minimum level comp competitive robot so check out there's a youtube video out there or maybe posted somewhere here there's a youtube video that will show you what their every bot does it's pretty amazing this is a 550 motor with a pinion gear pressed on it and then here's our new redline motor and a lot of people call in and ask us how to put a pinion on the shaft of those motors. Some people actually have to work around here. So we're gonna show you some people doing actual work with Antimark products. So I'm gonna pause here. You can go over there, check it out. So this is our new pinion press tool. For a while at Antimark, we've been using this, which is made out of gear stock and a steel bolt at the bottom of it. So what we decided to do was come out with one for both a 775 class motor, like our Redline, as well as a 550 class motor, like our AM9015. And what this allows us to do is hold the motor in place, you take your pinion, line it up on the top, and then you can just take it to your arbor press like this, and just push it right on. Verify that it still spins freely, and you're done. We designed the two bores to allow you to put a 9015 or a red line in very snugly so it won't go off center and cause your pinion to go in on an angle and cause your motor to bind and end up like an infomercial fail. Inside of each one is a screw. And what the screw allows you to do is both support your back shaft of your Redline or 9015 motor, as well as offset it so that if you have leads on your contacts, you'll be able to bring your leads out the front here and not actually damage the leads on the, the motor itself. The amazing thing about our pinion press tool is that it will be live by the time you are watching this video. Right on andymark.com. Oh. We're back, sorry. Um, last night at midnight was our deadline for the, the first week of the Antimark coloring contest. I know you guys are really excited all about that. Our winner is right here. And this team was very creative. I, we probably are gonna have to, we're probably gonna get some cease and desist letters over this one, but what the heck, we, we have a winner. And it is Snow White, Andy, and the Seven Dwarves. This is from Team 447, Team Roboto, our friends over in Anderson, Indiana, not too far from here. So good job, Team Roboto. I tell you, there are a lot of cool entries. It was hard to pick just one. We have a new coloring contest. This is our friend. He, he doesn't get much, much attention, but he really should. This is our friend, Matt Pilot, who is a electrical and controls engineering manager at first. And he's an awesome guy. And this is kind of a very comfortable picture that Matt has here. He's pointing at something. It's from the field tour video, and um, it's one of one of our favorite pictures. Download this, color it up, get creative, keep it G-rated, make us happy, and make make Matt famous. Keep building, get your drive base driving. 
um, get everything wired up on that drive base and uh, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Received a whole bunch of really cool drawings and colored pictures. Uh, and while we only have one winner, we have a bunch of other ones that we want to show you that are all super awesome.